Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one is in the book of Luke, chapter 18. And uh, I was watching um, Elder Apostles Gabar lesson earlier uh, entitled Pray, Pray, Pray. And, uh, you know, that kind of, I believe he actually made mention of the scripture, if I'm not mistaken. But I thought of the scripture as well as he was speaking. And I just wanted to do a, you know, a quick hit on it. And Lord willing, hope, hopefully you edify it. All right. And uh, us brothers who, you know, we know these, we know the scripture, you know. So, all right. You got uh, newly fruit. You guys coming in, you know, take heed. You know, every lesson that. The apostles do starting from Elder Apostle Tahar, all right, Elder Apostle Kabar, Elder Apostle Bakar, Elder Apostle Rumlob, all right, and the elders on down, starting with the elders out in Connecticut, okay. You know, every lesson is to take heed and not take for granted, all right, because we're, you know, truly living, you know, in the very end of this world in which we know it, which is called. Uh, America, all right. Scriptures call it Babylon the Great, all right. These empires, this empire that's established, okay, being the fourth beast, all right, coming out of Britain, you know, really taking things back to the ancient Roman Empire. We know that this is the very end of Esau's kingdom because his kingdom started more so when he was Alexander, Alexandria, all right. So now we at the end of it. So every lesson, you know, uh, should, should, should be taken heed to, taken heed to. All right. So anyway, uh, let's start at the first verse. It says, Luke 18 and 1, and I spec the parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. All right. So it's a must that we pray. You know, we're in need of a savior. We're in need of a healer. And who's that healer? That's Yahweh Shai. It says, men ought always to pray and not to faint, meaning you should never get tired of praying. You never should think that it's crazy or stupid to pray. You know, praying is, a, is, a, is, is one form of our power. It's our connection, okay, that we have, you know, to call upon our power. And our power is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It says, saying, there is a city, there in the city a judge, which feared not Yahweh, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in the city, and she came unto him, saying, avenge me of my adversary. And he, and he would not for a while, but afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not Yahweh, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continued coming, she weary me. All right, so this unjust judge, which didn't fear the Most High, he didn't regard man, all right? He was a proud demon, proud king, okay? Wicked king. And because this woman troubled him by her constantly, continually, you know, to ask for help, he ended up helping her. It says, yet because this widow troubled with me, so she was troubling him, he was tired, this unjust judge was tired of seeing this woman and her complaint. It says, I will avenge her, least by her continuing coming, she weary me. So he said, you know what? I'm going to fix the problem for her so she will leave me alone. And now that's in the mindset of an unjust judge. So now Yahweh I say in verse 6, he says, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge say, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect? which cry, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, 
shall he find faith on the earth so you know our power is a power of righteousness okay Esau's power is a power of wickedness all right we worship Yahweh Shai they worship Satan but this is the deal okay Satan works for the most high okay the most high set up Yahweh Shai to be be over all spirits so Yahweh Shai is over Satan so who's going to win in the end the Lord's chosen okay which was set up from the very beginning all right through his son Yahweh Shai which is starting off with the elect okay so it says and shall not the most high avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them so if you got an unjust judge that's willing to help this woman because she troubled him and worried him how much more the righteous power which govern the universe that we constantly keep praying and asking the Lord giving the Lord no rest as the scriptures say until he established the kingdom constantly doing these shows constantly putting up our prayers you know constantly calling on his name we have his name for a reason his name is given back to us in this last day okay so that what we can call upon him the name was taken away from us for a reason he divorced us he cast us away but not forever he took his name away from us so that we won't call on him he didn't want to hear us he didn't want to pay no mind to us we had to suffer for the for the wickedness that that we done as a nation all right for for you know our people worshiping false gods all right worshiping idols so the lord what he did he cast us out of his sight for a time but now that that time is for us to come back he's given his elect all right that special gift of faith and more and importantly too is the name the name of the father and the name of the son that's why it's important you know in this scripture that's for another topic you know going into the name and why it's very important that's our power source okay that's our key that's who we cry unto you if you're gonna cry and ask for help you have to know the person's name all right so we cry unto Yahweh uh, uh, Shem Yahweh Shai so it says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And the answer is yes, because the elect is going to have faith. But it's only going to be a small remnant, a small few of us compared to the masses of the Israelites. You know, that that one third compared to that, that two third is a very, you know, uneven balance. OK, that two third is, a, is damn near the whole nation. All right. So hopefully, hope this lesson was edifying. You know, I wanted to make a quick hit and uh, you know uh, go over this because uh, Pastor did that video. Pray, pray, pray. All right, and um, you know we cry to the Heavenly Father for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. You know, we ask in the Lord. You know, may He put He He pull He put that spirit of the Wah. All right, that mark of exemption on our foreheads. Okay, and that's in, um, what's that, Ezekiel 9, 4 through 6. All right, that word mark there is not the same mark as the mark in Revelations. All right, that's, you know, that mark represents the Y, which is the, the uh, exemption from judgment, you know. And also the scriptures say, uh, give the Lord no rest until he established the kingdom. So by praying and doing the works of the Most High, doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, constantly, consistently, is not giving the Lord any rest, you know, it's what much we can do. We only can do what the Lord told us to do. All right. Because that's what he delighted. in. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Until next time.